the Jets address one of their concerns. They don't fix it, but they address it. The Seahawks defensive line now. Say what you want about Sheldon Richardson. He's the guy who can't seem to drive the speed limit. He's but and he's in trouble off the field somewhat. Sometimes he goes after his teammates. That Snapchat uh, video about Brandon Marshall, uh, among other things. But he's a first round selection. Only four years, 2013. Yep. He's only 26. He's a big dude. He's only 26, and he has 62 combined tackles in 2016, 18 sacks over four seasons. He's still productive when he's on the field. And say what you want about the Seahawks' defense. It's been one of the better ones in the NFL in, in recent memory, but they do have trouble getting after the quarterback, and maybe that's something they address today. Look, this Seahawks team, I think the window's closing for them. I mean, these guys, a lot of these guys are going to come up for contract. They did a pretty good job getting those guys, but after you win a Super Bowl, everyone's going to going to have to be in the money. I think they hit all those right spots, but that process is going to start happening again, and I don't think they'll be able to spread it out as much this time if they go on a run. So this could be, and maybe next year, the window for the Seahawks. I mean, obviously, Russell Wilson has a lot to give, and they have some young pieces, but this could be that window where they have all these guys together to make a push. NFC, it, it's a pretty significant trade from the Seahawks. The Jets, yeah. Seahawks' perspective, <laughs> uh, it's they need a quarterback big time. But the Seahawks' perspective, this makes things interesting with those two, three, four teams that I think are going to compete out of that uh, conference to make the Super Bowl.